What's up guys, it's your boy Daniel Lewis back with another video and in this video we're speaking about my vending machine business now. Now if you see me when I first started uploading, you know I uploaded vending machine videos. It's now officially been one year since I started the side hustle and I want to let you know how it's gone, how much I've made. So just so you know, the vending machines I actually have are not like these big vending machines, it's tubs vending machines like these ones here. And the reason why I started with them because it was a lot cheaper to start, it didn't require any electric and... Bloody post, man. Now, a bit, little bit of backstory behind why I started the vending machines was because I've seen videos online of people starting the vending machine businesses and they're making like a thousand pound a month doing nothing. They go and collect them once a month. It isn't that easy. Let me tell you that right now from the get go. If you've seen the videos, watch this one. This is so much more real. It is not that easy you run into so many problems. You don't make half as much money as people that are on. The stock costs you a lot more than you actually think. So, yeah, there, there, there's an ups and downs in this business. Do I hate it? No. Is it amazing? It's okay. It's okay. Now before we get into actually how much I've made, I just want you to stop, pause the video for a second, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and also drop any comments you have about a vending machine at all. I'll answer as many as I possibly can for you. The reason why I got my phone, I've got all my notes. I always try and prepare my videos the best I can. I had a total investment, a total startup cost of actually £810. Very specific, I know. I spent £450 on the actual machines themselves. I got five of them. And then the stock for the machines was £360. That was for nine separate boxes of stock. So I was running around, I was looking for locations and I came across barbershops I thought yo this is the one man's getting his trim while making bread I thought yo this is the best way you know like this makes sense to me like I go into barbershops all the time and I used to walk to the corner shop buy drinks buy chocolate I thought okay if I get this in here this is gonna make me money and it did to be honest with you it did this was in my opinion one of the best locations I could have started with and I don't regret starting with barbers at all however out of the four barbers that I got in only two really were making money the other two wasn't the best and that was literally just because the clientele these vending machines worked a lot better with children so if kids went to these shops rather than just men's barbers uh, it did a lot better and just actually the amount of customers that are in the shop the other two that didn't work very well there wasn't very many customers so overall how it actually went five machines that i had one i couldn't find locations for i stuck it in my shed i was trying to find locations and they were those are the videos you were seeing me trying to find clients for their machines two machines actually ended up taking out in the end and sticking them in my shed i was then working with two machines by about six months into it I only had two machines going by about the nine month the other machine was no longer wanted so I'd take that out I then actually sold them four machines had one machine left and by 12 months I no longer have any machines this business is done over it's over I know it's painful but here is exactly how much I made in the year of having this business so let's get into how much I actually made I'm gonna put a profit calculator let me move over Right there. So in the first three months, I actually managed to generate £420 complete profit, which isn't bad, that was all in my pocket. That's from four vending machines in locations. Then between months three and six, in the third month, I got rid of two machines out of locations because again, they didn't want them anymore in the barbershops. So took them two out. And in between months three and six, I made £300 profit. And it's because these two machines were doing really, really well. The two that I got rid of weren't doing so well, but the two machines that were in locations were doing really well. I was actually quite happy with how they were performing. Then in the sixth month, another location wanted the machine taken out, which was doing quite well. So I had to take that out, put that back in my shed. And in between months six, and 12 the standalone machine then went on to generating me 300 pounds from that one machine which left me with a total profit of 1020 pounds now i'm not going to say you've not made any money you've not you've not made any profit like you've made like 200 pound profit in the year no i then sold the four machines in my shed that were no longer being used got all of them sold for a total of 300 pounds which then left me with a total profit after everything of 510 pounds which to be honest is not too bad now the reason why i'm happy that i actually started this wait let's change it's going a bit closer now the reason why i actually started this business was again i just thought it would be easier i thought it'd be passive but it's really not that easy now i'm going to create another video on like the pros and cons of having a vending machine business that the, the problems you have the locations and stuff like that just to break it down for you and if you want to see that don't forget to drop this video a like subscribe and also comment and then check the videos out. But yeah, so like I said, I no longer have this, this vending machine business anymore. Uh, do I recommend it? Yeah, I do. I, I would recommend doing it. I mean, is it as easy as other people make out? But if you do manage to scale this properly, I just didn't have the time. Uh, you could really generate some serious money from this. But don't get me wrong, it's going to come with the problems. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been your boy, Daniel Lewis. Peace.